Tension is high on Formosa as ships of the American Navy bring thousands of Chinese refugees to the island. They come from the Tachin Islands. As a health measure, each is sprayed with DDT powder as he comes ashore. All this time, other ships are evacuating troops from the Tachins, leaving the deserted islands to the invading communists. Anything destroyable has been destroyed. The homes the people left, the shops and office buildings, even the crops in the fields. To the southwest in the Formosa Straits lies nationalist-held Kemoi, an island outpost of vital importance to the defense of Formosa. America is not committed to shield Kemoi from the Reds, who have vowed to capture it. Despite the fact that communist guns are only five miles away on the Chinese mainland, the people go about their business calmly. As Kemoi watches and waits for its fate comes the news that power in Russia has changed hands. Early in 1950, a scene was enacted in Moscow that left no doubt as to the close bonds between Russia and Red China. Mao Zedong, chairman of the Chinese People's Republic, met Mr. Molotov. Bulganin, Russia's new boss, looked on. Bulganin, when he took over Malenkov's role, said that China could count on help from their true friend, the Soviet Union. In 1948, the man who has recently been made Russia's defense minister, Marshal Zhukov, was decorated by Field Marshal Montgomery. Zhukov is backed by the Red Army and is one of their most popular leaders. Thus, the Russian army has a vast influence on the Soviet's policy. Will they use this power to force open conflict on Formosa? Or will Russia's new leaders cooperate with the Western Big Three, as in World War II, and ease tension in the Far East?